It is also nice to create your own thread chart. That way you can pick the closest match from threads in your stash. This can also be done through either My Threads Docker or through My Threads dialog box. Click on the th My Thread Charts, then click on Manage. Select Create and name your chart. And click OK. And you'll see the new chart is now listed in your thread chart. Click on Copy, then choose the chart that you wish to copy from. All the colors of that chart will appear, and you can hold down the Control key and scroll through the chart and select the colors that you have. The Control key allows you to select multiple colors. The Shift key will allow you to select a range of colors. When you click OK, those colors will now populate your chart. Then you repeat the process for the next thread chart. Click on Copy. Choose the brand that you'll be copying from. And again, the Control key or the Shift key will select the colors that you wish to select. OK, and those colors will now populate the chart. We'll do this one more time. I'm going to click on Copy. I'll go to the thread chart that I want to copy from. And hold down the Control key, scroll through the chart, and select those. I think you can now see why printing the chart will help you when you develop your own thread chart. Because you can use that printed chart and quickly pick the colors that you have. When I go OK, those threads are now added to my chart. These charts work the same way. I can sort by code. I can sort by name. I can even sort by brand. When I click on Close, that now is part of your th available thread charts. You can see personal chart here. I can do that same thing through the My Threads dialog box by clicking on Create and Modify. Again, it brings up that same chart, and I simply click on Create and name my personal chart and follow the same steps. Once you have created your chart, be sure to back it up. Open File Explorer, go to C, Program Files x86, double click, find Bernina, double click, find Embroidery Software 8, and double click. Go to the RES folder and find the name of your chart. Select it, right click, and select Copy. Paste the copy on a USB stick or an external drive. Should your computer crash, or should you want to have it on a second computer, you will be able to easily add it following the same file path and then paste it in the RES folder. If you wish to create a template for your personal thread chart, you can do this as well. In later videos, you will learn all about creating templates and how to use them.